Hey everybody, it's Amber. Welcome back to another tutorial. Today we're going to be tackling this football poster collage type of look. Basically, we're going to be working with blending images in Canva. So for this, I just used Travis Kelsey because I figured there's going to be a lot of pictures of him on the internet, but this can apply to any sport, any occasion you want. So let's go. For the size of this project, I'm using a four to five ratio social media post. So when you go to Canva and click on social media, it's the Instagram four to five ratio post, but it doesn't really matter what size you do this on. Your, for this specific design, if you're replicating it, we're gonna need three pictures. So I chose one with like kind of a side profile of him, which is the back, then the middle, and the other one are just kind of him holding a football. So we're gonna work from the back forward, basically. So we're gonna choose our photo that we're gonna want in the back and size it-ish to how you were gonna be wanting it. So I think right there is about good. And then we're going to remove the background on it. And then we're going to duplicate the page and just work on this duplicated page. So now we're gonna click on the photo, then edit. And then we're gonna scroll down to Duotone, which is a fun color changing hack if you are unaware. But we are going to make the both of these layers black. That way we have a silhouette to work with. So we're gonna go ahead and save this third silhouette page only as a tr just a normal PNG. And then we're going to upload that back into our design. And I already have it, so I'm just gonna keep it here. Then we're going to scroll back up to the original photo that we had and we're going to search football stadium or I guess whatever applies to your sport specifically and then we're going to go to photos. And then you're going to just find one that you like and this is going to be that blended image that you see here that is in the lower portion of his body. So I chose one that had confetti on it. I chose this one just because it happened to match the Chiefs colors. And so now what we're going to do is click on apps on the left, and we're gonna type in image blend. There are two apps that we're gonna be working with today, and it is these first two. So right now we're gonna choose the purple one. And what this is doing is basically blending only one image, and it's fading it in either linear or radial. So I chose linear for this specific one, and then we're actually going to spin it around since we want the photo of the field kind of fading up into him. So what I'm going to do here is just drag up on this photo and then I'm going to move. Actually, I'm going to keep it like right here. And then we're going to save this and it'll convert this photo, as you see, to the blended one. Now we can adjust it where we want on Travis. And then once you're happy with the placement, go ahead and export this image only as a PNG as well, and then upload it back into your project. <laughs> and I already have it, so I'm just going to re-upload it. So this is the placement I went with. And now we should have one picture of Travis or your football player, whoever, with the blended field image and then the silhouette image. Now we can copy our silhouette image into the same design. And the sizing doesn't really matter here. Now we're going to blend these two together. So we're going to go back to apps and we're going to hit the other blend image app. And then as the bottom layer, or my bad, as the top layer, we're going to select this black and white one. So click on it and then click use selected image for the top layer. And then do the same thing with the other image for select top layer or bottom layer. Sorry. Then on blend mode, you're going to select screen. And as you can see down here, you have a little preview of what it will look like. So we're going to go ahead and add that to our design. And voila, now we have the blended image, of Travis in the field. And we don't need this a little bit anymore, so we can go ahead and delete that. Then I'm just going to turn down the transparency and edit the photo under adjust to make it pop a little bit more once it's faded. This is totally optional, but I just feel like it added a little bit more to the photo when I was done with it. So I'm just turning up some basic editing things here, turning up the vibrance, turning up the saturation, and that is going to be our back layer. Next, we're going to work on the middle Travis or whoever your player is. And so I'm just going to go ahead and upload that photo into this design we're working on. I'm going to remove the background and bring in the sides here. This is just to make it easier um, to click on the elements within the screen. Now, you can place him technically wherever you want to place him. I just think it looks 
nice when it's kind of overlapping into the design we're making. So let's see, right here could be nice. Now, while we still have him selected, we're going to go back to apps and then back to that first image blender that we use. And then we're going to click on linear again. Sometimes you have to swap back and forth just to reset it. And I'm going to drag this bottom one down a little bit because I don't need it as blended as it is. And then save it when I have it where I like it. And then I'm just going to move. Let's see, I'm going to adjust it a little bit. Okay, cool. So now I have him where I want him. This layer was probably the easiest one. <laughs> and then we're going to do the front layer. So upload your last picture, which for me in this case was this one. As you can see, she is turned towards the right. I didn't love that. So I actually just flipped him so I could frame the, the whole image a little bit better. So let's see, we're going to be putting him probably about right there. Let's see. Okay. Yeah. So now we have this problem. Actually, I'm going to put him down a little bit more. I'm trying to frame it. So basically what I'm working on right now is here down by his shoe. We're going to be erasing this right, right here so we can frame that back piece more. So I'm trying to make it easier on myself because that is the hardest part in my opinion. So once we have the setup how we like it, we're going to click on the back image and we're going to click on background remover and then we're going to click on background remover again while kind of taking a visual snapshot of what this looks like. And if that is too hard for you, you can totally take a picture with your phone of your image. That way you kind of know where to erase. So I'm just going to do that actually because that sounds a lot easier. So click on background remover again and now we will be able to erase. So kind of keeping in mind where our photo was, I'm looking at a picture of it now and you can do this in phases. So I'm gonna get a little closer there and I wish there was an easier way for this, but this is just the method I'm familiar with. So if you have an easier way, please by all means share it. <laughs> but yes, okay, let's see. That's pretty good. Let's keep going in to his knee. And then basically this is his leg. And then looks like this is going to be where the leg ends, about right there. So let's see how spot on we were. Pretty good. Okay, just that little piece down there. Nice. Alrighty. Okay, so this already looks super cool in my opinion. And now since we erased that part, I feel like it looks a little empty. So what I like to do is just select all of these and then we can move them at the same time. And you can also use the arrow keys on your keyboard to move that as well. Now we're going to add these light effects just to frame it a little bit better. And so for that, this is totally artist choice, but I like to type in sun glare and you can swap between photos and graphics uh, to find the most realistic looking ones. And then I'm going to put this behind the frontis Travis and we're going to click on position and send it backwards. I think it's a little strong, so I'm just going to turn it down. And then I'm also going to add a different one. So I'm just going to type in glare this time. And then I'm going to select under photos this golden one and also place that behind his head and send that backwards. I'm going to send it behind the one we just put as well since I like the rays to be visible. Boom. So you could leave it like this. Or what I did was I grabbed Travis's autograph from the interweb. And I changed the color of it to be red to fit with this design. You can also add some texture to the back of your design, such as by typing in canvas. You can drop a canvas to the back and that just adds a little bit of texture to your design. Oh, that didn't work. There we go. I'm just going to drop the canvas in manually. But um, you can drop this to the back and you can turn down the transparency since that back layer is kind of transparent he'll have the dots in him so this is fully with the texture and i think this looks really really cool i think if you have any kids family members etc who play sports this is a really cool way to display their action shots so if you make this feel free to tag me in it comment it down below depending on what platform we're on and yeah i hope this helped make sure to subscribe for more tutorials and i'll see you in the next one